Hello and welcome. In this video I should be restoring the Matchbox 1E Mercedes-Benz lorry. Produced in 1968, this model is now 50 years old. As usual, I'm going to start by drilling out this rivet and separate the model for painting. Sometimes this takes longer than expected and may take multiple attempts. Next, I'll be drilling out this rivet and removing the windscreen so I'll do that now try not to drill through the roof of the cabin Now that I have drilled that rivet out, I use a small blade to dislodge the windscreen. Well, here's the windscreen, it's looking a bit dirty, so I shall clean it up with some washing up liquid and warm water. So here's the windscreen after I've washed it, and it's not looking too bad at all. OK, the next step is to remove the wheels and axles. To do that, I use my Dremel to remove the burr on the end of the axle. Like this. I keep my finger lightly on the end of the axle. That way the axle is free to spin and is worn down evenly. And the wheels come straight off like that. I'll be reforming the end of the axles later in this video. Next stage is the paint stripping. I use a product called Poly Stripper. I apply it with the paintbrush and remove it with the toothbrush. Because it's caustic, I use the pliers to hold the item. I then wash it off in a bath of water. The paint stripper works really fast. You can see the paint blistering already. Now that the paint stripper has reacted, I remove the paint with the toothbrush. Now I shall remove some scraps of paint that the paint stripper failed to remove using a scriber. With this magnification you can see the details on the model. Here we can see fuel caps on the fuel tanks. 
hinges and locking bolts. On the rear of the model is a tow hook. You could buy a Mercedes truck trailer as a separate model. I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do on the underside and then I'll move on to the undercoat. Here is my tap set I purchased from a local hardware store. This is the tap, it's held into the T-piece by this screw. The next step is to tap the rivet post to receive a screw. Here's the tap I use. I put some white tape around it because they all look the same. I needed to know which one I use. I'll just drill out the rivet post first and then I shall put the tap in to make the screw thread. At this stage I drilled a little bit too far and made a hole in the model that I wish I hadn't. I'm going to have to fix it later on. Now I'm inserting the tap and cutting the thread to receive the screw. I'm doing a test fit of the screw to ensure that the thread has been cut properly. A magnetic screwdriver helps with small screws. Here you can see the hole that I drilled by accident. I filled the hole with aerodite and now I'm wiping off the excess. After wiping off the excess, I had to top up the hole with a tiny amount of aerodite. After a light sand, it should be almost invisible. After sanding, it's time to undercoat. To help me with this, I glued tacks onto the model pieces so I can hold them whilst I'm spraying. On the underbody of the cab, I've masked off the wheels prior to painting. After paint stripping the model, I kept a sample of the paint. I used this to make a matching colour to respray the model. Here's what I ended up with. After painting, the next step is to reinstall the windscreen. To do this, I use Araldite. Again. I use a minimal amount of Araldite, then I use a cotton bud to press it into position.
it's time to reform the axles. To do this I use my drill press with two nails that have indentations drilled into them to reform the end of the axle to prevent the wheels from falling off. When I bought the model it didn't have a rear canopy on it so I had to buy one from eBay for a couple of bucks. It's not the best quality but it should do the job. And now what you've been waiting for is the final product. Thanks for watching. <laughs> to do that, I use my Dremel to remove... <laughs> To do that, no, to do that, I use my drill. <laughs> I can't. No, I'm going to get stuck now. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> To do that, <laughs> right, <sighs> to do that, <laughs> to do that, I use my Dremel to remove the burr. <laughs> To do that, <laughs> can I skip this one? No, no, we're doing it. I'm going to save this. <laughs> Stop it. To do that. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> to do that, I use my Dremel. <laughs> We're stuck! Uh, to do that, I use my Dremel to remove the burr. <laughs> and then what I've forgotten, I've forgotten what the next part is. To do that, I use my Dremel to remove the burr. <laughs> no! Oh no. To do that, I use my Dremel. <laughs> Stop it. do that right I know me too Sorry. right to do that I use my Dremel to remove the burr I've forgotten what the rest of it is to remove
<laughs> to remove the burr. <laughs> to do that, to do that, to do that, I use my Dremel to remove the burr on the end of the axle. 